Hey, it's Raymond here at the UMI Performance Race Shop. I'm in front of some Viking shocks. We include Viking shocks in many of our premium kits. We're gonna take a look at how this all works using our UMI bracket kits. The brackets often include a double shear lower mount on the axle and then either a T-bar or a double shear upper mount on the chassis. So the 3049 bolts onto the factory axle. It has three position adjustment on the bracket. We often talk about the coilovers being adjustable on the shock. In this case, we give you more fine tuning on the bracket. Of course, low is the lowest setting. We're on the mid setting now. Then if you want to raise the car up a little bit more, you can put it on the top setting on the double shear mount. Here on the Viking, we have 19 positions of compression and rebound adjustment. Compression is how easy or hard the shock goes in. Rebound is how easy or hard the shock comes out. Once you get the compression set, you can kind of leave it there because the axle weighs the same all the time. But when we're checking transition on the car or ride comfort, we adjust the rebound clicker here. We want to start probably with it on six or seven, give it a test drive and then see how it goes. You can see we have the shock uh, anti-seize on the shock. That keeps the adjuster nuts from galling the threads. This is actually a Viking warranty thing, so you want to make sure you use that anti-seize on there. The lower nut here is the jam nut, uses the smaller of the two wrenches. The upper nut is actually what changes the ride height of the car. On top of the upper nut, we have a thrust bearing here, thrust bearing kit, and then the 150 spring in this case. When you move this up and down, it changes the ride height of the car. You can fine tune your ride height there. And then when you're all done, you tighten the lower one up against it, the jam nut, to lock in the system and you're ready to go.